Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad taste in music, and today I will be ranking every song from 2010 on the Billboard Hot 100 from worst to best. I've already listened to these songs on camera, and I made about three hours worth of footage from that. Uh, those videos are great, have an average watch time of like 20 minutes each, so, you know, people are loving it. Offline, I listen to each of these songs at least two or three more times each, and uh, yeah, so today I have a full list for you. There's gonna be a lot of bias in this list. Here's a good example of that. Use Somebody by Kings of Leon. I've been roaming around, always looking down at what I see. I think that this being a radio hit is a fucking joke. It sounds like a terrible U2 ripoff, but with the pop lyrics that would become popular, as there is nothing distinct about this song, it's completely obnoxious to me, completely unlistenable. And yeah, there's a lot of bias towards this one, as I believe this is the only song that I could say distinctly that I really, truly hate. Stuck Like Glue by Sugarland. This is a disgusting song. I described it as saliva type beat. Uh, allow me to demonstrate how it sounds using my own voice. <laughs> Eeny Meeny is the cheap, crappy radio pop that I remember from the 2010s. Me as a kid thought this was dog shit, and uh, it's, it's good to know that as an adult, I feel the same way. She's my eeny meeny miny mo lover. Oh baby, she's my eeny meeny I, I, For some reason though, I can't even find the version with Justin Bieber on it. it seems like he got cut out of his own song. Naturally by Selena Gomez and the scene and I'm assuming that that scene is uh, the boardroom writing this terrible cliche horrible fucking song. Uh, this song is an example of a puppeteered Disney artist who basically they threw into the studio, gave a song which they have no writing credits on, they took it off the shelf and said here you go, uh, make this annoying pop song for us and yep, her face is plastered on the cover because... Hey guys, look, it's Selena Gomez. The song is as terrible as you would expect from Boardroom Written 2010. Crap. Oh, uh. When I was streaming this one, people were defending this track, and I assume they're trolling because this song is terrible. Uh, there's horrible sense on this. The, the kids bop fucking way of writing on this track. Uh, you don't even need kids bop to interfere. The way that Ludacris writes his verse, it's ridiculous. Yeah, the song's cringe, and it's also very boring. I know you love me. I know you care. Just say whenever, and I'll be there. Lover, lover, you don't treat me no good no more. Lover Lover by Jaron Neiman is a one-hit wonder that started off the list as it was the number 100 pick on the Billboard list, and I gotta say, uh, this song fucking sucks ass. It's basically a country song about how she doesn't shake it for him anymore, and uh, how Lover Lover, you're no good anymore, um, and it's terrible. Haven't Met You Yet by the King of Hallmark himself, Michael Buble. This song is unbelievably boring. His voice is so flat. It's so soulless. Uh, there's like no human qualities in his fucking singing at all. It's like eating butter. I, I describe the song as uncanny. It's It feels very uncanny to listen to. I just haven't met you yet. <laughs> bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this song, when I listened to it on stream, I gave it a pass for being uh, so bad that it's good, but I gotta say, uh, no, this song just sucks balls. Uh, and especially in comparison with every other song on this list, this song is corny, unbearable trash. Um, I never hated it as much as everyone else did, but I gotta say, comparing it to everything else, yeah, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty bad. Favorite line being, I'm so gangsta, I'm so thug, you're the only one I'm dreaming of. Be as a we. Lady A, from what I can tell, is uh, very talented, um, but American Honey is destroyed by uh, by some horrible drum choices in the middle of this track. Uh, they're so bad that I uh, that I'm gonna play them out loud for you because it's it's actual comedy. 
yeah, it's a, it's a shitty garage band drum machine uh, in a country song like this. I basically describe the song as very talented artists getting completely screwed by whoever the fuck was producing this song. Completely unlistenable. Uh, yeah, terrible. While I like the beat of Your Love quite a bit, that's about it for this song. Uh, the aesthetic is great. It really is. It sucks that Nicki Minaj is boring as fuck with horrible singing. The lyrics on this song are horrendous. The Bruce Willis mention makes me want to die hard. Uh, this is the worst era of Nicki, and I just can't sit through this fucking song for the life of me. So, that's the bottom ten. The bottom ten all are songs that I barely can make it a minute through without ripping my hair out. Um, so, yeah, all of these are so fundamentally broken that listening to them feels completely impossible for me. Um, the next set is still in this category, but I can sit through it a little bit longer. Um, but for the most part, these songs at the bottom, I would consider to still all be pretty dog shit. King of Anything is mixed horribly. It has blaring, annoying horns going on throughout the entire song. Sitting through this is a torture chamber. The production is just simply terrible. I, uh, yeah, it's obnoxious, per perky, generic, pop, swingy garbage. Um, it has some charm. But it doesn't save it, it's terrible. Who made you the king of anything? I don't know, I think it's supposed to be like anti-man anthem, I don't know. It was a fairy tale, you were the prince. I used to be a damsel in this. Today is a fairy tale is, uh, it, it takes the charming shit that Taylor Swift did in the 2010 era, you know, with like a, you're with your boyfriend, we just met, right? Like that crap, and it pretty much uh, cranks it up to 11. To the point of being completely unlistenable. It's a boring ass teeny bopper song that's extremely cringe and sounds like it's straight out of a fucking Disney movie. Yeah. Cash money heroes. Private jets. Birdman. Two houses. Three casinos. 47 G5s. I Made It is uh, very reminiscent to me of the era that, like, you know, DJ Khaled was working in, which is just this glamorous bling rap, uh, kind of the death of, right? Like, like approaching the death of bling rap, and this song is, <laughs> is a great example of that. Um, every verse is terrible, the, the hook's annoying, Jay Sean is just referencing his big hit single so that you know who he is. Uh, yeah, the song's a disaster. Oh yeah, not to mention my favorite line of this song being, More money than I've seen in a garbage can. Which, yeah, more money than I've seen in a garbage can. I, I can't say that that's a lot of money. Misery by Maroon 5. I gave this a pass at first saying, eh, you know, it's not as bad as some of the new... No, it is. It's always been pretty bad for Maroon 5. They've just been doing it for so long that I think that it's become... Uh, like, like, the friction just increases. Uh, also, I can't listen to this guy seriously, especially with the recent stuff that's been going on. Uh, this whole thing just feels so boring and fake. I am in misery, oh yeah. I can see it going down, going down. My head, Jason the Rulo. Yeah, listening to this song again now, I gotta say, might have grown a little bit, um, but just for the sake of the fact that I don't want to fucking move this song on the list, I'll just say, uh, produced like garbage, drum beats terrible, oh yeah, and there's moaning in the middle of the song. <laughs> in my head, I see you all over me, my head. Tell me what you want to hear. Something in the atmosphere. Large anthemic chorus. This was the pre uh, predecessor to Imagine Dragons, and unfortunately, I can't really unhear it as such. I don't know. It's a little catchy, but it's just it's it's a large turd for me. Two is better than one, Boys Like Girls, featuring Taylor Swift. It seems sweet at first, but it's just a cheesy love story, manufactured piece of garbage um, that I never want to sit through. It's tiring. I just want to get your attention. Hey, girl. As cringe as Hey Daddy is, uh, it grew on me a little bit off stream because I believe that listening on stream, I mean, truly, there is no way of getting around, uh, the, you know, Daddy's home, Daddy's home. Say hey, 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 Daddy, hey, hey, 
Hey, Daddy. Usher's production, like half the songs on this list, you know, they're pretty decently put together, but man, like the other half are just so fucking unlistenable. Uh, unfortunately, this the, the cringe lyrics of this just fuck it, even though I think they have some pretty great bass. Every day Christmas, give Trappy a wish list. I probably pull an Angelina and Brad Pitt. I wanna be a billionaire so fucking bad. Awkward F-bomb starts off the song, followed by really mediocre reggae rap. I liked this song as a kid because it was a rap song, but I gotta say, there's just so much better crap than this. Um, more importantly, though, I gotta say, uh, being a billionaire, the, uh, the, the shining lights and the bright stars of being such is just sort of dead, because billionaires kind of suck. Same issue I have with Secrets, I have with this and pretty much all of One Republic's songs. This one I like just a little bit better, um, as there's some cool production choices, but it's still, trying to sit through this whole thing is very difficult and dull. Life After You is dramatic, decently well produced, uh, but dime a dozen Creed bullshit that I just want nothing to do with. I'm very open to Carrie Underwood hits, but I believe that Undo It is terrible and certainly not the way to go. She's got good swagger on this song, she's got a strong voice, but unfortunately this song sounds like dog shit. It's compressed garbage. Uh, even though it has some catchy moments, the lyrics on this, especially, I threw uh, your stuff in the trash and I ain't even sad. And I wanna, uh, 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 do it. You had my heart now, I want it back. I started to see everything you like. It's one that I'm disappointed, uh, isn't better. <laughs> Kesha has some pretty good hits on this list, but Take It Off is not one of them. It's one of the trashiest songs Kesha has ever done. Uh, yeah, Drink Until We Drop song, it's a little bit catchy, but it's also really obnoxious. I think it's her worst single on this list. It's a hole in the wall, it's a dirty free for all. I just, I don't care for this one. I'll take it off when they take it off. We gotta stop. This song shrunk so fucking much from when I first reacted to it. Uh, it's a high energy one hit wonder, um, but unfortunately the lyrics and the attitude of this song is extremely cringe, like a fucking motivational poster. Uh, this guy just comes off as an American Idol one hit wonder. Uh, yeah, fucking kill me. This song is terrible returning to it. My first kiss went a little like this. And twist. My first kiss when I first listened to it, I gave it a zero. Um, now it's upgraded a lot. It's not a zero. It's definitely not at the bottom of the list. Um, this song has energy. It's entertaining. And the thing is, is like up to this point in the list, these songs, I could not make it all the way through these tracks because they're either boring or cringe or just difficult to sit through. Um, but my first kiss is baffling. Um, so it kind of challenges that as the entertainment that it provides uh, allows me to power through it. And the trashiness of it is uh, is something to gawk at. Going to hell. I'm beautiful. According to you, I'm stupid, I'm useless, but according to him, I'm incredible, unstoppable. This is my fight song, take back my life song, prove that I'm right song. This is a generic 2010 fucking shitty banger. There's pieces that I like about Teo Cruz's music, I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, but either way, I feel like the parts that are good are outweighed by the parts that suck. The production on this song is terrible. The ludicrous feature is kind of fun, but uh, sitting through it, it's, it's a bit painful. He's honest about how he breaks your heart on this song, but it's super robotic and boring. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, but I mean, you're probably bored of it by now from me singing it. Let's go, cause we go rock this club. We gon' go all night. We go light it up like it's dynamite. I came to dance, 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 dance. If you thought that uh, break your heart is repetitive, dynamite, which is even more annoying, but yet I like it a little bit more, just a little bit. Uh, it's a classic club banger that consists of annoying repetition and a terrible dragging beat. I always thought this song was bad, but I don't think it's just bias. I really can't sit through this thing all the way through. It's just a really boring trick.
There goes my baby. You don't know my girl. There Goes My Baby was a lot lower on this list, but returning to it, I gotta say, like this one, once again, I was able to make it halfway through. Um, my problem with this song originally was the percussion is fucking terrible. The drums are literally so bad. They sound like crappy garage band fucking like claps in there. Like it's, it's, it's really bad, but Usher's singing is actually very sweet. Yeah, he's got a great voice. Yo, girl, girl, it's your birthday. Open wide, open wide, yeah, you're thirsty. Say, uh, 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 uh. I was a fan of Trey Song's other hit, uh, Bottoms Up, but Say Aw to me is just kind of a boring and spacey, nothing feeling drinking song. I'm one for club tracks, but this one just feels like everything is just a little bit off for me. Uh, there's some really creepy lines about being too drunk also at the end of this song. Um, yeah, it, I don't think this one holds up all that well. Bulletproof, you probably don't even remember sounding as bad as it does sound, but man, does this song sound like dog shit. The singing from La Rue is actually pretty decent, and I've never had an issue with it. This time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. Um, but the beat sounds like a horrible electro pop that is just aged exponentially. Uh, the song sounds like shit, and if you revisit it, you'll see what I mean. This song is number 69 on the list. <laughs> it's kind of catchy, but it's stupid and outdated. It sounds so dated. Uh, this song actually shrunk from like a 6 to a 3, because I was like, yeah, it's kind of fun. No, this song is fucking cringe, dude. Sitting through this track is, ugh, kind of sucks. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, yeah, go tie me down. Why are you on the road? I'm poor, what you want right now? You want right now? I doubt you even remember what this song is. Uh, it's a cold beat from Rihanna. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm so hot. Oh, 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 I'm so hot. Yeah, this is not one of her better hits. Uh, it's aged crappily. The word hard is just not a hard word. It's just, it makes me think of the other hard. Hey, J. Sean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, J. Sean. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. It's possible not to smile when Lil Jon shouts, but saying the song is it's a boring aged fucking track. Oh, oh, I want some more. Oh, oh, oh. Animal is a fine song with a catchy chorus and a solid pop rock instrumental, but creepy ass lyrics that I guess everyone in the 2010s was just slinging like they're nothing. I, and I get it mixed up with everybody talks every time I think about this song. It's oh, oh I want some more. Uh oh, what are you waiting for? Smile like the sun, fall out of bed, sing like a bird. The reason this corny ass song, you make me smile like a bird, free like the sun. The reason this crap's here is because the feeling of this track is authentic enough to sell it to me, even if the song kind of sounds like shit. <laughs> Blah blah. blah 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 is another song that I gave a zero that ended up growing to about a four. Uh, my notes being, I'm okay with trashy, but this is disgusting, made me physically ill. Yeah, but returning to it, I got over it. Got over the shock, and putting the clear bias aside, it's trashy fun with 303 actually doing a pretty funny job here. Oh my gosh. Oh My God is another song that really was like at the bottom of the barrel terrible for me, but funny enough, Upon returning to the song, I realized something, that I was actually able to sit through this entire song because it does one thing right that all these other songs don't do. Um, <laughs> and that's the sound keeps developing. Now, the sound de develops in a terrible way. It sounds like crap all the way through, but I, I don't know. It's, it's got enough charm to, to make me sit through the, the bad and be like, hey, you know what? I kind of like the, oh, my God, baby, let me love you down. There's so many ways to love you. So I kind of like the base of this song, uh, the, the, the foundation, even if I don't really like everything else about it. I was thinking about us, I was thinking about me, thinking about how I used to know, baby. 
but it's only just a dream. The song it has things that are good and things that are dog shit. I had no idea this song was Nelly at first. Um, yeah, it got me to move my head. Uh, the bass is just insane. The compression kind of sucks, but it's got a great hook. And that's about it. It's got a good hook, but everything else sucks. Yeah, I wanna be forever young. Forever young. I wanna be forever young. This song is a mixed bag, just like a lot of other songs that got this exact sort of ranking. As pretty much everything that's like a 4 out of 10 for me, I feel like, uh, is, is just barely there. Um, but for some reason, they do something that's uh, critical that causes it to make it so I never want to return to them. Young Forever, funny enough, Jay-Z is just really boring on this song. I think Mr. Hudson's feature is fine, um, but the beat also is really empty. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't like a lot of the choices made on this song, though. The hook, again, pretty catchy. I wanna ride, I wanna ride your body. I wanna go, I wanna rock that body. Come on, come on, rock that body. Rock that body. This song's kind of fun, uh, but it also sounds like shit, but it's also kind of fun. The club can't even handle me right now. It's a boring club hit, does the job, it's just fine, it's whatever. This song I should have liked, uh, but unfortunately it comes off as just a really shitty Beyonce hit, as the mixing on this song is fucking terrible. The production sucks balls, um, it's not her best performance. It, there's just not enough to compensate for it, I, I think this song sounds terrible, especially in comparison with many other hits here. Mine is kind of catchy, it's decently structured, um, but it's just kind of boring aged country slush that does nothing for me. But it's okay, it's still, it's still fine, you know, it's still listenable. One, two, three, not only you and me, got 180 degrees. Super catchy fucking uh, chorus, but the verses kind of suck balls. Um, this has some great moments on it, um, but also some awkward censorship with a uh, just randomly thrown in there. Um, but still, pretty sexy song. Alicia Keys song, not a big Alicia Keys fan, she just, it's fine, it's kind of, if, if you space out enough, it's listenable, if you're trying to listen to other music, they'll, you are the only exception, you are the only exception, Outside. The only exception is a Diet Radiohead song. Uh, it has love and passion, but also really boring writing. It's super safe and formulaic, but also kind of cozy. Try Sleeping with a Broken Heart is kind of boring, but uh, yeah, she's got a good voice. You know, but it's also a boring Alicia Keys song. When I see your Every time I touch your crack, it turns into gold. Just the way you are grew on me a little bit. Uh, I blame some of the better Bruno Mars features of this era to make me look back at this and say, you know what, sure, it's a little bit too much of Bruno Mars. Uh, but unfortunately, it still feels like a ray of sunshine at an inappropriate time. I, I still kind of hate the feeling this song gives off as it's just super saturated. The echo is annoying. The kicking bass is pretty terrible. But... Still a decent performance. It's okay. It's it's like if it comes on in the background, I'll, I'll deal with it. It's whatever. I got the magic in me. Every time. I got the magic in me. Ratitude Rivers Camo meets Bob, and they make magic. It's kind of fun. I have nostalgia. I kind of like it. Uh, the hook's nice, but Bob kind of sucks. So I don't know. You know. It's a mixed bag. It's a five out of ten. My So I put my hands up, playing our song, the butterflies fly away. Moving my head like yeah, moving my hips like yeah. Party in the USA is some boardroom written crap made for Mo uh, Molly. <laughs> A boardroom written Miley Cyrus song that has very little personality outside of what they assign her to have. Um, and you can tell this by the eventual music she ends up making. Uh, yeah, but it's also kind of well written you know even if it even if the personality is i don't even know what i'm saying at this point anyways i carly ass industry plant bullshit but uh but yeah you know still kind of catchy she's no trouble sleeping 
Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even. Solid pop track with great vocals, uh, except for the fact that this song still kind of sucks balls. Why? Because it's one hit wonder garbage with one, two watery guitar chords, which are okay, but eh, I don't know. Some of the singing kind of sucks. Eh, I, I don't know. I'm mixed on it. This beat kind of sucks on this song. And Drake also is very boring on this track. He has better performances in this era. But this, this ain't it. Fireflies, Owl City, you might not believe your eyes. 10 million fireflies. He has his own world of delusion on this track. It reminds me of AJR, but, but, he actually does okay here. Uh, it's a lot different than uh, other crap coming out during the era of, uh, of of this time. Like, it stands out in the sea of trash that was kind of plaguing the, the radio at, the t at this time, so... Even though I still think it kind of sucks, I also think it kind of bops. I'm uh, I'm in the middle. I'm putting up my shades to cover up my eyes. I'm jumping in my ride. I'm heading out to. I'm putting up my shades to cover up my eyes. I'm bubba dubba dub. I'm on cloud nine. I'm solo. I'm hot and solo. I'm hot and solo. This prepubescent uh, voice is pretty distinct to this era. It's kind of charming. The percussion is still terrible. 2010 R&B garbage. Sounds like he has his hands on his balls and he's yelling. And you can't, and I can't hear this crap without thinking of Han Solo. So what do you want from me? What do you, what do you want from me? Kind of grow on me a little bit. It's a boring hit song. This really predictable. It's calculated corporate crap. But it's okay. It's actually an okay hit uh, underneath all of that. Like, uh, I feel like Adam Lambert has enough personality to kind of sell it. Better find your loving. I better find your heart. I, be I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I called people in my video hypocrites for not liking this, but liking Kanye, because if Kanye sung this song, they'd enjoy it. Yeah, Drake ain't Kanye. His song's kind of mid. What did she say? J -j 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 what you say? What did you say? J -j 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 Ooh, what you say? It's age like garbage. It's kind of funny. I kind of like it. He's like a melody in my head that I can't keep on. Na 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 every day it's like my iPod stuck on replay play 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 Poom shaddy's like a melody in my head that I can't keep going when we see me there Na ba na ba every day it's like my iPod stuck on replay play 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 One of the catchiest choruses of this era, if not the catchiest chorus um, but the, honestly the verses kind of suck And uh, the production is by the same guy who's doing Jason Derulo's crap And you could hear it, it's kind of aged Horribly it's boring outside the chorus, but it's a good-ass chorus. Alright, now we're finally at the songs that I would consider to be songs that I like. Uh, starting it off, of course, at a song called I Like It, I think very appropriately uh, done. The song is super loud and compressed, but I like the way that, uh, that Enrique Iglesias sings a lot, and I feel like this song keeps my attention, even if it is, uh, you know, just... You know, maybe you misgood me, I don't mean to get it all. Baby, I like it, the way you move on the floor. Baby, I like it. It's large and pitbull, and it does its thing. It's kind of fun. I got a feeling. The song is fun, but it does take getting over some annoying things to actually break apart the coconut. Get a pretty decent tune underneath it, even though, once again, it's aged like crap. I got a feeling. Ooh. You know that it doesn't matter. And I want you to know you couldn't have loved me better, but I want you to move on. So I'm already gone. Yeah, um, Kelly Clarkson has an incredible voice. She is an absolute powerhouse to sell a song like this. Uh, one of the reasons I feel like she has had her staying power uh, is just her voice is incredible. Like seriously, even even if they're like like she's one of those American Idol industry plants that fucking you know surpassed that label, and I respect it. it started blooming, this beat was bubble gum, so I had to chew it. Teach me how to dug. Teach. Me. Hey, be a last move. What? Can you teach me how to dug? You know why? Cause all the bitches love me. Hey, 
Teach me how to Dougie. Te- teach me how to Dougie. It's a fun ringtone rap song. Never had an issue with this track. Stupid fun. Good nostalgia. Do stuff that you cheat. Do It's funny how this song and uh, How Low are the two hits as My Chick Bad is a pitch down screw effect on the vocals and How Low is the opposite. It's a chipmunk effect on the vocals. My Chick Bad, it's aged pretty horribly, but it's still fun for about a minute. The beat's pretty good. It's not the best Nicki verse in the world, but it's not the worst either, and the punchline way of rhyming is pretty fun. I like it. It's young money, motherfucker. If you ain't playing with it, run from it, motherfucker. We are on. Now somebody show some money in this bitch, and I got my bees with me like some honey in this bitch, you dig? I got my gun in my boat, Parson. I don't bust back because I shoot first. Yeah, Lil Wayne's the worst part about this song, but Drake actually delivers a fantastic verse, and I like the beat. I think that this is a net positive, even though I would probably skip the Lil Wayne verse every time. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like it. All that bullshit's for the birds. You ain't... Deuces is my hottest take of this entire list. It's abuser core, but it's got incredible production. Whoa, 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 whoa. Deuces, whoa, 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 whoa. Ch- chucking up the deuces. Also, Tyga sucks. Used to be Valentine's. He literally says Valentine's. It's pretty terrible. The vocal effect and everything for I'm a B is aged like garbage, but besides that, I actually like this song quite a lot. It's got a great switch up, uh, it's got some terrible lyrics, but yeah, I, I feel like a, a few had me rocking the iPod Nano like this one did. I like the beat here a lot more than other Black Eyed Peas songs, the bass is great, the snare roll is really cool. Uh, yeah, but it's aged like garbage. I'm a B, I'm a B, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B. I don't really mind sucking them dicks. I got a nigga. Grocery bag. Bedrock is a song that I definitely overestimated when I heard this song uh, again on stream. I, I, I can make your bed rock, girl. I, I, I can make your bed rock. She got that good, good. She Michael Jackson bad. I'm gooda, gooda. Grocery bag. Yeah, this, it all is based around a horrible bedrocking pun, but I do like the fact that all these young money artists are on this track, as it's a pretty popular posse cut. It's fun and cheesy, but the beat is terrible. Twenty ten was definitely an era of hooks. You need to have a good fucking hook to to stick around, and down is definitely that. Down, down, baby, if the sky is falling down, down, down. It's catchy. I, I love it. The Lil Wayne verse at the end kind of sucks, but uh, yeah, this song is. I mean, it's too big to fail in my opinion. Impossible is like fight song if it didn't suck. It's uh, catchy and functional. Like a small bull in the old... Oh, wait, that's not how this is. Tell, tell them all I know now. Shout it from the rooftops. Impossible. Impossible. Alejandro is the first Lady Gaga song on this list. That's right. It's pretty fucking high, ain't it? It also marks uh, the beginning of songs that I have very few, if not any, issues with, and songs that I really enjoy. Alejandro starting off as I believe that the rest of these songs are so boring and generic that this song, uh, one that I originally gave a 5 out of 10 to, has stood the test of time as the character that Gaga brings here, uh, I feel like, is pretty sweet and makes it, you know, distinct out of all this generic garbage. Don't call my name, Roberto. That was that built me boring ass country, but it's well done. What can I say? It's by Miranda Lambert. The only reason it's this high is probably because I didn't, uh, I was too bored to listen to it again. So, uh, you know, we'll just say that it's right here for now. Because why not? It's been a ride. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take a shit off the balcony. 
Uh, yeah, I used to listen to this all the time. I still kind of like it. It's gonna, I, I definitely wish there weren't so many piss shit and dick bars, but I'm honestly able to look past it as I think his flow is fantastic. I like the beat a lot, and I'm able to sit through the entire thing without really any issues. It's a decent white dude motivational banger in the worst genre of all time, which is white dude motivational bangers. I like shooting stars. I can really use a wish right now. Airplanes is catchy. It's a decent song by B.O.B. Uh, can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. Haley is pleasant, uh, but there's also shitty compression on this beat, which isn't great. Uh, there's positive and negatives, but overall, I like it. It's a quarter after one. While the other Lady A song was terrible because of the production, Need You Now is not held down by any uh, specific outside forces, so you just kind of get the best of Lady A here. Um, it's a fine country tune that has a really catchy chorus of, It's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you now. Which I think sticks really nicely. Uh, it's a nice duet, I think it feels very satisfying by the end of it. It's really good. You Belong With Me is the most uh, praise I can give a rinky-dinky garbage song, as I believe it's definitely Taylor Swift's best of this era. It's adorable love story. It's, I feel like, balanced enough for me. It's timeless. You know, it's, vin it's vintage. It's functional. If you could see me now, the world you understand you. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. This song has some great throwback qualities to it. I feel like it's actually aged decently well. Um, has a great kicking beat, and yeah, it works as a really solid throwback. I, I like this track quite a bit. Who here right now that I didn't know last year? Who the fuck are y'all? Over has some of Drake's best bars uh, of this era. It's a really strong beat he's behind, and I like the hook a lot. Uh, though his existence is still a light one. This is the best uh, Black Eyed Peas song from this era. I, I think it's a masterpiece in comparison with a lot of the other crap uh, that's on this album. Um, but I gotta say, it, it 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 still holds the characteristics, and I think it holds pretty well against a lot of the uh, these other hits. I still think it's pretty fun. Can you be me halfway? Feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, girl? my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit the... TikTok by Kesha is pretty, pretty damn catchy. It's really trashy, but it's some of the best trashy crap that she did in this era. It smells like vomit and perfume. It's a solid, fun banger. It's got some data references, but it's a fun song with solid sense regardless. Um, it's an interesting song to be at number one, though, I gotta say. But it's fun. It's decent. How low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? Ludacris has enough charisma to pull off a song like this. Uh, the chipmunk vocals are fine. You get used to them. It's a good, uh, good club banger. Six, like a G6. I'm definitely a fan of my club bangers, okay? Like a G6, like a G6. I've heard a lot of people say they hate this song. But I think it goes dumb as shit. Um, I think the bass on this track is fantastic as well. It sounds like it really fills out the environment. Um, it still sounds futuristic, even even to this day. I, I don't have any issues with it. If I die young, bury me inside, lay me down. If I die young, bury me inside, lay me down on a... And it roses. Out of all the country songs, this might actually be my favorite. Um, I think it's the best sounding. Uh, honestly, I, I love the singing. I think that the verses are pretty sweet, and I think that it's also uh, pretty mature on handling death. Greetings, loved one. I know a place where the California girls were undeniable. Production's aged, but the song still slaps. It's vivid, hilarious, and very well produced. Uh, and I can't help but imagine the video while I'm listening to this, which I also think is pretty cool. It's the best Usher song on this list by far, as the production's great. It's fun, it fucking slaps, the hook is amazing, and P Pitbull's goofy and entertaining. He does a good job at topping off the song. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. 
all I do is win, 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 no matter what. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the hip hop. I'm a big fan of the catchy anthemic bangers. I'm a fan of the club bangers, the ass shakers. Like that, that kind of shit I feel like is what 2010 was all about for me. Like I feel like the best music that came out of this era was that kind of shit. And I think the worst stuff is the singer, songwriter, fucking independent American Idol ass crap. All right, as you can tell. So that's probably my biggest bi uh, bias. And I think that this song being in the top 15 is a good example of that. Uh, as yeah, it's so one of Khaled's early bangers. It's fun to fucking dance along with, and yeah, the energy's infectious. One of the best Kesha songs here. Um, yeah, it's huge anthemic chorus. It's really nice, and yeah, I think it's good trash. Yeah, I like the pacing of this track. I also like the mentions of rehab and her mother. I'm um, kind of making this song feel a little bit more rooted. It's as good as TikTok. I feel like I'm living a Aged well, bubblegum fun. It's pretty forgettable in the background, but I think it's a good thing. If I could write you a song to make you fall in love, I would already have you up under my arms. It might surprise you guys that this one is as high as it is. Um, but yeah, uh, the white rapper Mike Posner. This is uh, an interesting era from him. Um, I definitely like his more mature music, but... I, I gotta say, this one, he's still on his shit. His writing is still pretty good. Uh, he's hes a fascinating writer, especially in this era. Uh, it's, it's surprising that someone like him kind of broke through, though, you know, yeah. I don't know. Well, what point am I trying to make? Me burn. Well, that's all right because I, I love the way you lie. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. It's aged decently well. I still like this song. The rhymes are tight, and I do enjoy this era of Eminem. His angry growling is comforting at this time of when I discovered him, and I still like this crap. It's a solid track with a great hook and a, de a decent detailing of domestic abuse. All right, time for the top ten. Uh, number ten. Empire State of Mind. It's one of the best songs on this album. Has an incredible hook from Alicia Keys. Loved this album back in the day, even if it was a mixed bag. Uh, this is one of the better songs off of it. All over the world, I could be chased. Nothing on You is an amazing track from B.O.B. with a wonderful hook from Bruno Mars. I still, I still really like the sound of this track, uh, despite my issues I had kind of with Bruno um, and with his solo shit. Yeah, someone also called this guy Andre fifteen hundred, and I haven't been able to see him see him the same since. Regardless, it is still a fantastic track. One of my favorites. One of the top ten. Rude Boy is one of the best fucking bangers on this entire playlist. Uh, sexy and extreme. The sound is amazing. Uh, it's something I could play on repeat endlessly. I love everything about this. It seems to be a song about fucking, I don't know, taking control, possibly sexually. Uh, yeah, Rihanna nails it. I wish it was a little bit more adventurous, maybe. It, it gets a little repetitive, but still, it's a great-ass tune. Carry Out is an absolutely stellar Timberland track with a great Justin Timberlake feature. I love the fucking ridiculous lines about Carry Out food, as well as this beat is one of the best in the entire list. The beat is absolutely stellar. It fucking slaps. It fucking kicks. It's awesome. Yeah. Pain is in the <laughs> Bottoms Up is my second favorite banger of this entire list. It is one of the most important songs for me personally and growing up. I know, Bottoms Up of all fucking songs, but I still am able to listen to this whole thing and enjoy it front to back. I think that this is leagues above his other hit with Say Aw. Um, I think it's so much catchier. I think the Nicki verse is incredible at the end here. Uh, yeah, it's so much more iconic. A great fucking drinking song. It's, it's, it's good shit. All right, top five time. Sexy Bitch is one of the only David Guetta songs I actually enjoy. I fucking love this beat. I think the synth choices are perfect for every single synth on here. Uh, every effect is awesome. Yeah, um, I love this song just immediately starts and doesn't waste any time. It ha it fills in the space amazingly. It's so immediate. And Akon's such a perfect feature for this. Uh, it's possibly, yeah, It's I think it's my favorite club song on this entire list. <laughs> Gaga bridges the gap between catchy pop that's popular and art pop uh, in her own amazing way. She's definitely a powerhouse. Um, yeah, amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> this song goes through so many phases. I don't get bored of it. I, I, it's just, it's a gaga sweep. Next song. Paparazzi is probably also one of her best fucking songs. I mean, she, she kills it with this crap. The sound is still ripe and fresh. Amazing production that's aged extremely well. And it has glamour that makes this kind of song work. It has glare, it's fashion, flair, and passion. Yeah, one of the best pop songs this era has to offer. Understand nothing was done for me. So I Drake, Kanye West, Lil Wayne, Eminem, my God. And not to mention that they all do amazing here. Uh, have literally every line on this fucking thing is memorable. Uh, the beat, it's like it, it works for the basketball game movie it was going for. I mean, this this is six minutes that just flies by. Uh, it's an incredible fucking song. It's so good. It's so good. I have got no service in the club, you say, say. Hello, hello, baby, I did I give you a thing. Yeah, Telephone actually ended up growing to be my favorite song on this entire list. Lady Gaga fucking kills it with this track. It is another song that just... It starts and ends like like every moment feels like it's filled with something uh, happening, which is awesome for a pop song like this. It has lots of fun little telephone sounds to give it more character. Uh, yeah, like the the oh my god, the character being played throughout this 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 song is brilliant. I mean, this song is so fucking fun. I, the Beyonce feature that just comes in, she just does like this fucking drive-by feature that just comes through and just adds so much to the track. It captures everything amazing about this era. I, I love it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is worst to best every song. Um, the 2010s on this fucking list. God, I'm tired. Uh, you can subscribe, do whatever the fuck you want. You want to see another year? Let me know. You're a big project. Uh, peace.